Jay Bird here for NorCal Brewing Solutions. Hey, I wanted to go over a few things that um, uh, we build, and we've had a couple questions online and in the store on how to do and how to put some of this stuff that we build together. So what we're going to put together is, first of all, we're going to um, we have a new gasket that um, we have created for our canning jar yeast harvesters, canning jar crowds and catchers, and things like that. So what I want to do is just show you that this is a V-style gasket, and it goes around the outside of this guy okay so when you're getting your stuff if it's not already installed you're gonna know that you need to put this together like this okay so that goes on there just like that okay and um, when you are installing this don't forget to use your keg lube okay so just a little keg lube around here will will help make this a better seal so there's that and then so secondly we have the Krause and catcher um, lots of questions on how I'm using this um, as a CO2 reservoir for my conical fermenter. So what I've got is the Krause and catcher with two nipples, one with one, and the grommeted hole. And then what I do is I cut three pieces of, sil this is 3-8 silicone tubing, you can use half inch, and just cut them to where they're right about to the lower lip of your canning jar, whichever one, whichever canning jar you are using, okay? And then you just install this on one. And the longer hose is going to go between the two, so you can make this as long as you want or as short as you need to. So that goes on there, this goes on here, and then so between the two is where you're going to install your um, connection hose, okay? So that's going to go down in here, that's going to go down in here, and what you're going to do is you're going to take your sanitizer and go ahead and you can put some sanitizer, sanitized water in there, or whatever you're going to use, okay? Nothing goes in this jar. You can't, you know, you definitely will want to sanitize that. But, um, uh, and go ahead and get this on there. Go ahead and get your hose connection here. Go ahead and get this guy on there. And you can make these snug, okay? Now, like I said, with your hose that drops down in there, you're going to connect that guy. You can throw, you don't have to, but um, some people are. They're throwing an airlock on here, and you'll put some sanitized liquid in there. And then you will connect from your, this is an inch and a half triclover blow off hose, um, blow off tube that we use. We also make this in a two inch, depending on what you have on the top of your conical. And then what you're doing is the CO2 is going to transfer down into here, evacuating this of all the oxygen, pushing it over into here and getting rid of all the oxygen there, filling this up with CO2. So now what happens is when you do a dump or you do a um, transfer um, or you're getting your samples, whatever, what you're doing is you're drawing, because it is going to create a vacuum, you're drawing carbon dioxide back up into your conical fermenter, not oxygen. So anyway, that is the Krausen catcher. Um, and you've got the gasket, so that's just about it. Cheers.